Hello YouTube, it's mine Bender here, and I have a scorpion. Those of you who were around when my channel was brand new will probably remember this scorpion for being one of my very first builds. It's pretty simple, not too complicated. The transformation is equally simple, and the robot mode is equally not too complicated. So, all around there's just not a whole lot to this build, but when I first built it I really liked it. And especially what I liked about it were its colors. I like the neon green on the black. It looked really cool to me. So, kind of recently, just kind of thinking about this build more, I decided I kind of wanted to uh, update it a bit to my current standards. Make it, remake it, so that I would like it more. And maybe, maybe just uh, make it fit in more with my current build. So, I did exactly that. Allow me to present version 2. As you can see, this second version is much bigger and a lot more articulated. I really made sure to use a ton of these T-joint pieces to, for the movement because if I used ball joints it would have just ended up having the same color scheme as my SWAT team, which I wanted to avoid. So since people are going to want to see the size difference, here's the original next to the reboot. And yeah, as you can see this one is much bigger and also more articulated, getting him off to the side. The uh, movements you can see here, the arms can just go up and down, moves at the elbows as well. The uh, claws can open and close, like so. The head moves up and down, and I really like the head. I know some people might not, but I mean with the two eyes kind of facing up. But I like the idea of that he's a drone, so it gives him kind of this mindless look, like he's under some kind of control, which I like that. The legs can move in and out, and that's it. They can't really move forward, unfortunately. And the tail can move in three different, actually four different places. One, one, two, three, four, yeah. And it can go all the way forward if you want it to, and kind of sting, but it's meant to really just shoot. Like, these are some kind of laser guns up top. And yeah, that's about it for scorpion mode, so let's get on to transformation. Now, the original Scorpion had a very simple transformation, with most of the robot limbs coming from the Scorpion mode's own limbs, including its head. The only real transformation really happened in the legs, and I wanted to make sure that simplicity translated over into the reboot. So, to start transformation on this guy, what you do, much like the original, is you start by kind of just getting everything out of the way. The legs fold out of the same place and come down. There is more motions to it, but they are still coming from the same part of the Scorpion. Thigh rotates, legs fold back, this piece of armor comes down to form the foot. And you've got the legs for the upper half of the body. This bit just folds down. Much like the original, the scorpion tail just folds up along the back and flips over his head to kind of form, an, again, a pair of guns. And the arms just fold down and become robot arms. Just like so. And there, you have my updated Scorpion version 2.0 in its robot mode. As you can see in their robot modes, the two versions of the Scorpion look pretty different, even with size and complexity put aside. This one kind of has more of an upstanding humanoid look, whereas uh, this one is kind of more hunched over and still looks very much like a beast, especially with those giant claw hands. and. Again, that kind of dronish looking head looks, still looks like a kind of a mindless animal, and in my opinion, that makes him look way more dangerous, especially if you imagine like large numbers of these all at once. The uh, tail, get him out of the way, the tail comes up over his head, and you know, you can use that as like a long range laser cannon for ranged attacks, as well as the scorpion claws, which are still on his arms and can be used to shred up enemy opponents. It was very important to me, since this is meant to be a reboot of this, the same thing, that all the body parts come and end up in the same place. So the scorpion arms become the robot arms, the legs come from the same part of the scorpion, the scorpion head becomes the robot head, and the tail is folded up along the back in both cases. The only thing that's changed as far as uh, where everything is placed is that the blade went from the tail to the hands and the guns went from the hands to the tail. And you will also notice I used the more updated version of neon green. Kind of, like I said, keep it looking more new than less dated than this one did. 
for articulation, it's mostly the same as in scorpion mode. You know, the arms still move exactly how they did. This new pair of legs is also on T-joints, so forward and back, bend at the knee, swivel at the knee, and the foot can move forward and back, as well as kind of extend for whatever you really want to use that for, so that's there for you. And yeah, overall, just a very, very posable giant scorpion dude with the ability to rock you, much in the way of a hurricane. Anyway, so yeah, pretty cool. All right, guys, until next time, I want to thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you really like this video, feel free to subscribe and leave a comment. Tell me what you thought of this guy. I would encourage you to read the description first so you can make sure your comment is channel-appropriate and family-friendly and all that. Uh, I've been Mindbender, and I'll talk to you next time.